Well, it's Trisha here behind the camera helping you live life and create you. Create the you that you want to be. Unlock that joy. Okay, so I had to come on because I met a wonderful lady and she is doing a subscription box and she was wanting to um, give affirmation cards to folks and I said oh I can help you so I started designing this and I just wanted to show it to you um, I think I'm going to teach a whole class on it okay but I figured I'd just come on real quick and share with you this is actually a playing card okay and the reason why I came on is two things one um, I wanted to help her create an affirmation card and I thought I would show you um, how I'm going to finish that off isn't that so cute so these are things that you can do with old playing cards to make. Now, the second reason why I wanted to come on live, and that's why I have my camera up because I've been working and I'm wearing my little happy hat for my mom, I haven't done my hair. But someone said in one of the groups, she was like, what do you do with um, a page that you color and you mess it up and people were like, oh, I just throw it away and, and things like that. Another one, um, I said, I don't know what to do with my my colors, you know. So as a mixed media coach and helping you, I wanted to show you a couple of things that you can do. And number one is I wanted to actually work on this bottom part. So one of the things I have from Hobby Lobby is I was playing around. I was like, well, I might as well jump on and show you guys. So I'm going to use this little tweezer here. I can. There we go. And I thought, well, this could be kind of cute. And I love your feedback, what you think. So I was like, okay, I could put these little pink flowers here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my computer, um, a scanner on just the normal printer, and I'm going to print these. And then she's going to, I'm going to print 36 of them for her. So that's, no, that's one idea. The other is I have these little crochet flowers. And oh my gosh, look how cute they are. So cute. So, but you know what? I think I like these little flowers here because it showcases the meaning of you are my sunshine with some flowers growing, okay? So I thought I'd show you what I'm going to do to place those, and then I'm going to give you another tip, something that you can have fun with. Okay, so I'm just going to drop a little glue gun on here. I usually use E6000 glue, but I'm... Um, run out so I got to get some more and I just didn't feel like going to the store so glue gun works perfect um, I will sell my originals here right now I just have them in my little folders and what I do is I'll sell the prints I'm making 52 deck affirmation cards right now but this is what I'm doing so there we go and Oh my goodness, I have to show you these. Look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. I really am. I'm seeing Barn Quilt Club in the bottom. And I'm like, I should be totally telling you about Happy Trod. But anyways, look at these little butterflies. Are they like just the cutest thing? So I'm like, okay, Trisha, you might have to put a butterfly on there. Oh my gosh, yes. Tell me, is that like awesome? Okay. Okay, okay. And I hope she loves it. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to put the butterfly right here. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to show her what I have made for, for her um, club members. Okay. And I'm going to take a little toothpick here, a little part of this back. Since this is a little wire, I'm going to get that glue out right here so it doesn't show. And I'm going to tilt the butterfly just a little bit. There you go. Isn't that adorable? Okay. So the next thing I wanted to show you was if you are doing any kind of coloring in any capacity or you have a loved one that's doing coloring, I want to expand your thought process on this. What you can do is actually, I'm looking for my scissors. If I were scissors, where would they be? Okay. Can't, hold on just a second and I'll get my scissors. All right. You can actually accentuate this. You could take this apart and collage it. Okay, so let me get my other scissors. They're right here. Oh, they're my handy dandy zebra scissors. Okay, 
So this is just a piece of wood, but let's just say you have a piece of wood, like just so you know, like we went to Lowe's and got a piece of um, plywood and they cut it up into pieces for us. Not this one, Kurt made this one. That's why this is old pallet wood. But I wanna encourage you, here's what you do. So if you wanna do cards like this and make some for a person's birthday or whatever, this is an awesome way to do it. Um, I used paper that I created because I make collage paper, but if you want to use scrapbook paper, you can. Um, and you can embellish them with stickers and a note and put a Bible scripture on there, whatever. The back, if you're giving it to somebody, you can just put white paper on the back or you could just paint it with white. And there you go. And that is just beautiful. What I'm going to do is scan it. And I'm going to be able to make multiple ones. So like I can send these to my friends all the time. So it's not just stuck with the original. And then I go, oh, I gave the original away, but I don't have anything else. Right. So I like to maximize. Okay. So if you were to have a piece of wood, what I would do or Dollar Tree is actually awesome too. They have um, sometimes little wood pieces. Okay. So here's what you can do with this. Let me turn this camera up just a little bit more. I don't know why it's wanting to be a little silly. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm measuring this right here. And I'm going to cut this. I hope this is such a good holiday weekend for you to be reminded how loved you are. So that could actually go on like that, or we can cut around it, or we can lay it and then do scrapbook paping around that. Okay. I'm going to take off my sweatshirt here. I'm going to show you these decoupage ideas. So let me get my decoupage here. Sometimes if you're lucky, you'll get little ones like this for a buck. And I'll tell you, I have like a hundred of them for my clubs <laughs> because that's just such a good price. And if you if you like to travel, like let's say you you go camping and you want to bring some stuff with you, that little travel size is awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... maybe put this paper this paper i actually made this design so what i'm gonna do is because i want to show you the coloring page how it comes together so this is what we're gonna do okay so let's just squeeze this baby down have a little fun all right Like I said, look at Dollar Tree because sometimes they have packs of wood for inexpensive or you can go to your um, home improvement store and they'll cut some wood. So like $20 piece of plywood and I got like so many 8 by 10s and everything. And actually, that's what I use. I'll actually put my designs, whether the coloring or whatever, and put them on wood and work them like a piece of art. So after the video is and my hands are clean what i'll do is in these comments i'll put down the class where i'm teaching a little bit more intricate details on how to take a coloring page like this and turn it into mixed media but right now i just want to show you why not to throw away your coloring pages and you go oh i just did it for relaxation but now i'm going to throw it away or i'm just going to keep it in a book no don't do that please you know you're creative. Even if you just draw stick figures, you have the opportunity to do something really pretty. This is awesome. I mean, I, I actually thought, oh, I didn't really color it that great or whatever. But now all of a sudden it's on wood and I'm like, oh, this is so pretty. Especially when you use um, like deco art, triple thick coating over it, like a glaze. It's not a glaze. It's like um, a gel or whatever, like paint, clear. And you coat over it and it makes it stunningly beautiful. 
So now what I can do is up on the top, I could either do a little piece of my patterns if I want, or I could cut out this paper here. So let's cut up the word love. Yes, I'm cutting up the page. And we're going to do the, put the little heart here. So let's put the little heart here. By the way, I heart you. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Me and my sweetie hubby, we're going to have a fire pit tomorrow morning. And I'm going to watch church from the fire pit next to him. And so that was on an edge. So what I'm going to do is there are no, doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm actually just going to lay this on top and I'm just going to start layering. We'll just see what happens. Hey, the worst thing that can happen is you don't like it and you take it off. That's the cool thing about trying new things. I was talking to my sister for like an hour yesterday and I was like, you know, one thing that I feel like I'm, I'm doing wrong in my, my, my life in showing y'all art stuff is I say, I'm a mixed media teacher and helps unlock you. I'm like, Karen, I've been a coach and trainer and everything all my life. I said, I probably shouldn't say like I'm an art coach that helps you unlock. I said, I'm actually a coach that like uses tools like stuff like this to, to help you find your joy and, and unlock those. I said, you know, I've been a trainer since... I was 21, actually, because <laughs> um, I was an entrepreneur at a young age. And it was like right in front of me after talking to her. I'm like, that's what, you know, that's what I do. So I just had to tell you that because I was like, you know, sometimes something is right in front of us and we don't even see it. So, for example, I have... Um, my retail store that's called go find your happy right and i love it because it has a, that's a piece of my heart right but like in my personal brand i'm like i said it just doesn't mesh with me i'm gonna pick this up a little bit smooth it down i said i don't really it doesn't really match me to say go find your happy with trisha and drayson it just doesn't fit and i said because i love helping other women like me find their joy and come back to things maybe they forgot about or lost along the way. And it wasn't until like I was totally relaxing and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I own the Gmail address. Live life, create you. How in the world have I had that for this long? And I'm not using it as a website. And so anyways, I messaged her and I'm like, look, live life, create you. That's, that's like my, like mission is helping you live life and create the you that you might have lost along the way or forgotten about or put other people first. And I know, like, literally, I was relaxing with Kurt. And all of a sudden, Jordan is 20. He comes in from basketball and he's like, Mom, I think I sprained my ankle really bad. So immediately I go into, you know, my my shoulder's killing me. It's feeling a little bit better right now because I took medicine. But Anyways, I go totally into mom mode, right? And I'm like, okay, let's get you some ibuprofen. Let's get you your ice. Um, let's elevate it. Let's take a look and see it's swollen. Okay, if it doesn't feel better by 6.30 after these following things, then I'll take you to urgent care, da 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 da, da right? I totally forgot about my sore, sore, excuse me, can't talk, sore shoulder because, you know, I wanted to make sure I took care of him. And um, that's why I say that is I'm like, I like totally live, live life, create you, right? Because I want to help you live and, you know, find those pieces. I don't know about you. I mean, or, or if you're a mom or not and can relate to this, but, you know, we put, that's what we moms do, you know? No matter how old our kids get, we're still their mom. We're, they're still our, I don't know, I guess I'm babbling, but you know what I mean. We just love them, don't we? I know that's for me. But, all right, so see how this is already coming together? I'm so excited. And when this dries, I could even still use my markers and color over it. 
but I am making, this is like kind of fun tie dye now. Oh my goodness sakes. You know what I'm going to do? Okay. So here are these crochet flowers. I, I think I'm going to put them for sale and, and go find your happy because look at these. Now my mom makes a lot of crochet things. She didn't make these. She totally would if I asked her, but anyways, I found these and I was like, oh my gosh. So this I could turn into like a sixties or a vintage vibe. So there's that idea. Like, so cute. Oh my goodness. Like that's a cute factor. Y'all, I get so excited when I get things in the mail. That's why I love mailing y'all your happy mail stuff. Okay. And then there's these little flowers and I could do like bunches of little flowers up here. So can you just tell me which one do you like? Do you like the big flower on this piece of wood or do you like the little bunch of flowers? If somebody can tell me, because I'd really like some feedback. And then I'll put some, I'll put other things along the bottom. So there's the little flowers. Little flower versus big flower. Hopefully y'all can talk to me or is this, pro or do I have everything on private chat right now? I might, let me see. Oh. Hi. There's my age because my keyboard's sending me by. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, well, while I'm thinking about it, I have got to put a butterfly on this. It's like screaming. Okay, so since that's green behind there, I'm not going to do green. Let's see. We got, we got teal. Oh, my goodness. I so love these. Yellow. This one's like really light. There's a red. Shoot, I love butterflies so much, y'all. I could have butterflies like all over the place. I think we're going to do this one here. Let's go ahead and just do that right there. I'm going to drop my glue gun on here. Put that butterfly on here. See, so this is something easy that anyone can do. You can do and you can make your own art. I know you love to go through the aisles of like Hobby Lobby and stuff like that and buy things that are already made. But sometimes it's just fun to make something all your own and like give it to your best friend or make it for yourself and have it next to your bed. Mm -hmm. Kurt laughs at me because I have some stuff, um, two pictures and they're like, find your joy and stuff. And I look at them as soon as I get up in the morning. So I'm going to use the little bunches up here of flowers just because, just because. So let, let's go ahead and do a recipe. And maybe what I'll do is I'll do it in the other corner too. So let's do yellow, pink, blue, and teal. So we'll do that. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. Let's go, baby. And would you like me to put some of this, like these art supplies? Because you can't find these in the store. If you like it, then um, what I'll do is I'll start stocking these more. Um, I am contemplating, I have um, a group called Happy Tribe. Um, right now, the it says joinhappytribe.com. But the reason why I'm telling you that is I'm contemplating with my Happy Tribe members to offer them a box that I can mail them and then we can do like a project like this together. Look at that. I love it because we're using, see, it's in my, it's in my jeans, y'all. I can't not make mixed media stuff. So I just love it. I'm going to, when this dries, I am going to go up here maybe. Now let's go back to my Prima flowers here because these are so pretty and they don't go on sale very much. But when they do, man, I like snag them up. So Prima flowers, just in case you're interested in knowing what that is. So do I like that or not? I 
I might do something different down here. Sometimes you have to wait and come back to it. Boy, I sure do love those little flowers. So back to the coloring pages. So you might say, okay, this is scrap and I'm totally going to just throw it away. Wait, 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 wait. Before you consider throwing away something pretty or a greeting card or a Mother's Day card or a friend card or a thank you card and you hold on to it for a while or you want to put it in a box, please don't. You can turn it into art. Look at that. So even though this is for her, I will, let's go ahead and just decorate the back and I'll show you how easy it is. So there's the Mod Podge, okay? And let's just do... And, and I know this is not all, you know, colored because I hadn't finished it yet. But I just want to show you how easy it is to make some cool, fun art with things that are laying around. And oh my goodness sakes, I watched this movie, um, different kind of... Different kind of me, I think it was, with Greg Kinnear. And in the movie, they had this quote that said, um, God turns trash into treasure. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And Because I was sitting there with, like, my little um, crate with all these paper scraps, right? And I was like, that's, I, I was like, I just love that. God turns trash into treasure because he remakes us. And I'm like, that is exactly why I think I love mixed media and collaging is because we use things that might be already laying around and in our house that we can use and bring to life, you know? So we totally, we totally forget that we can. So... Now, if I had another card, I could have just cut that whole back, but I just wanted to show you how you can actually paper collage. So if you don't want to, if you don't have like a polished piece of scrapbook paper, but you have a greeting card paper or whatever, this is exactly what you can do to make the back. Okay. And you can get stickers from Dollar Tree and stuff like that. I mean, I have some awesome butterfly stickers from Dollar Tree. But, oh my goodness, I think, do you think she's going to love this? Oh, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. And look how beautiful this is. I'm going to turn this up. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. That's like totally frameable. Okay, so now here along the bottom, I'm going to, oh, all my washi tape is up at the house. See, I've been crafting in my in my house, and I was sitting next to Jordan while he was icing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for now because I'm going to come back and color it with probably some pencils. Go ahead and do that. Could make this a leaf and bring it around. I never understood why people were obsessed with washi tape until I started using it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm addicted. So I'm going to start learning how to make my own washi tape. Yes, I am. Got to do it. Because I keep looking for something and I can't find it. So I'm like, okay, if I can't find it, I'm going to figure out a way to make it. Because there's just certain things or sayings that I want to have, want to put on here. But I, I think to make this feel symmetrical or just kind of like pulled together, on opposite ends, I'm going to do these flowers here. So there's the peach the yellow, there's the blue, there's the teal. Okay, me, um, I'm just going to color very lightly. Oh, 
this right here. And I have this blue one too. I'm going to go ahead and do this one in, in blue here. So I'm not doing as much detailing on this because I'm going to cover this with flowers. Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's start planting them. Okay, I'm not going to do yellow there. I'm going to do blue since it's on a yellow background. Do the yellow down here. And we'll do the peach here. Oh, I love these flowers so much. I'm going to... I only ordered one bag. I'm going to go back and order like 50, 50 flipping bags because I love you, flower. I really do. I love you. You're so sweet. Oh, you make me so happy. Okay. Sorry. I know I sound crazy, all right, but anyways. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I have the heart up here. Okay, now I'm getting excited. Because look, I made this paper. I'm gonna make this. I'm, I'm gonna be selling this paper once I get all of them together. I'm gonna sell a bundle of papers that people scrapbook paper that I made from my heart. So, anyways, I'm gonna do love instead of happy. Should I do happy or joy? You are loved. I am happy that I am loved. Yes, I am. I'm so happy that God loves me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out my paper here. I'm so glad I came on with you guys. I love coming on and teaching y'all like things. It just makes, it does. It totally makes me happy. We've got to do a, like a, maybe, you know, the Dollar Tree books that have like the dollar books. I've got to show you how to maybe stencil them or cut the words out and we can make collage of words and sayings. Would you like that? And Walmart probably will hate me on this, but you know, the, the palettes at Walmart, they're filling a need, right? Because you're right there in the craft section. Before you spend that, like $10 on one piece of wood, please, if you have a local lumber or a home improvement store near you, Please go there, okay? Pretty please, because you will save a lot, and it will and it will serve the purpose, okay? Because like in one of my other videos, how we did the the farmhouse wood beads to make it as a hanger, you know? Shoot, I have taken things into like Lowe's or Home Depot. I've carried something with me, and I've asked like. What do I need to use for this to cover this or to seal it? It's, you know, you'll get them helping you. And that's just, you know, that's good. By the way, in the corners, Barn Quilt Club, we did this in Barn Quilt Club, um, but bigger versions. So I'm going to turn that into a little hanging or I have four of them for a coaster. So, okay, so there's happy. And I still want to do something along the edge. So I'm going to just... do an edge around here and then I'll probably incorporate some washi tape or some sains but let's just see how this feels I'm not going to do a whole strip because I want it to feel collage -y, so is that a word collage -y? I don't know if that's a word actually oh my oh my goodness sakes We stayed out of all the stores today. We were like, we know it's probably going to be busy. So we went over and visited my mom. My mom and I are so close. I mean, we've always been close, but like since dad passed away and stuff, because she was like a full-time caregiver. So if I wanted her to go shopping with me or whatever, it, it was hard because she was caring for dad. And... Um, 
we might only have like three hours if the caregiver was there and stuff. So now she's by herself and I kind of have her go with me wherever. And um, I don't know. She makes so many cool little things. I've really got to get them on the website. She's 84 and she is, she is very talented. Um, she writes songs and we're, we're, we're very much alike. We're kind of both on an unstoppable moment where the other day we went to eat and she was like, I think I'm addicted to coloring. And I love it because I have um, my coloring book that went out, came out. But anyways, it was so cute. She's like, I think I'm addicted to coloring. I stop and then I go watch TV for a little bit and then it bugs me and I have to go back. And I'm like, mom, that's good. You know, your, your, your heart or your mind or whatever is craving it. So, you know, don't overdo it if you get tired, but if you're enjoying yourself, just let yourself go and enjoy it, you know? So I'll probably do, like I said, that tape along the bottom. And once I have it all polished, I'll show you. But I hope that you're getting some ideas about how to use coloring pages and not to throw them out. Repurpose them. Put them on a piece of wood and just mat and frame it. Put it on a piece of wood and then hang it with, um, you know, the, the beads, farmhouse beads. And I would love for you to tell me, hey, this is what I love. This is what I'd like to learn more of, Trish. Can you give me some tips or pointers? And I definitely will. Let's see. I'm going to slide that up under that little flower there. Oh, I love these little flowers. They're just so cute. I so want to put another one there. It might be too much. Yeah, one butterfly. Oh my goodness, I was getting ready to sing. You remember the song, one little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, yeah, well, now I'm wanting to sing. One little, two little, three little butterflies. Look how sweet and cute these are. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I gotta put one on. Another little flower goes on, yay! Gonna do another one. Yes, I am. Where'd he go? Where'd my other little flowers go? Maybe I'll put this little, little pink one on just for changing it up. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, now that is precious. It looks like a little flower coming up out of this. Oh, look at that, guys. Okay, look. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold, hold on. See, I stutter or I go, hold on, hold on, when I get excited. So, anyways, okay. Look, 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 look. Look, it's a little flower growing up out of the, the, the flower field. Oh! Look, and it ends right at the you are loved. Uh, you cannot plan that any better. Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, man, I got, a, I got a shot of happy adrenaline right there. Oh, my gosh. Look, y'all. Look how pretty that is. Oh, oh. See, now, now I've got to sell it or gift it to somebody who needs it to remind them that they're loved. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Okay, anything else? Okay, I've got to just go to my little jar. Let me see if there's anything else that I want to put on. One more little, let's see, anything else? I don't think so. I really love the wood. So we've got wood and this is plastic and fabric. I'm gonna just do a just one more up here. I just gotta. Sometimes you just got to do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness, you see my desk right now. 
I'm not going to use these on here, but I just wanted to show you, like, these are Dollar Tree butterflies. And they really are precious. So just so you can see what we were talking about, like using a playing card and repurposing it, right? That's where it could go. You could use a sticker and lay over it. But I'm not done with that back yet. Because I want to I want to smooth that out, actually. So while I'm here, I might as well just do these two. Do the little card and do this little back. Okay, so here's a good example, though. Those stickers that I just showed you, I created, I collaged and made my own mixed media paper. And that's the sticker right there when, we, when I scanned it. And if you're like, I don't have a scanner or whatever, just use your phone and you can take a good picture. And then if you have a printer, you can print it out or... There's so many places to print now. So anyways, let's cut this little joy out. So I'm thinking like for Live Life Create You that I was talking to you about. My personal brand, Unstoppable Warrior, it's a flame because the song that inspired me in 1995, I'm telling my age, was um, Go Light the World. And so a flame is like just a big symbol for me, but so is butterflies. I think the butterflies because of transformation. Do that on the back. Do the joy. And I'm going to do a couple more of these little collage pieces that I was going to throw away because I just told you not to throw it away. Here we go. Makes me think about all the things we go we do in our life, all these little little pieces of papers, like little pieces of memories, you know. So I'm gonna let that dry, but I absolutely love the front. I'm gonna be mailing or emailing her and showing her the card that I made for her. Just gonna trim that little bit there. Right. There we go. And this I am just totally loving. I'm gonna go back after it dries and I may um, just do a little bit touch up on here and color in some of these white uh, with pencils and finish it off. But then it can be, um, I'm going to spray this down since I have mixed media on it um, with a um, Krylon fixative spray since there's markers and pencils in here. And then I'll seal it with um, a polycrylic spray. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. And if you did, please share it out or like my page. Follow me so you get notifications when I come on. And I hope you have a blessed night. I'm going to go spend some time with my sweet hubby. I'll talk to you later. Bye.